this little beauty and it comes in red and black and you can see that it is a nice I did say to Kurataki once you can't walk around with these they look like island the tip of the brush pen is now dirty hi I'm Paul Antonio and welcome to the calligraphy masters channel of course you can use them on their side excellent coverage they are Super fine. So because of the size of the tip and the way in which the filaments are placed together, get some really beautiful stroke work. Now, this can give you a huge letter. And it can also give you a much smaller letter. That's the Fude 8 uh, Kurtaki brush pen. Fude 13 is this. This little beauty and it comes in red and black and it is a finer tip than the Pude 8. So I've watered down this ink so I can get a, a little bit more flow to it. You really see that tip gliding on the page. I mean, this is just so glorious. I love this. So now we're going to look at some more specialist brush pens that Kurtaki have. So we're going to look at the Fudibiori, which is a spongy tip, but it's big and quite juicy to write with. And um, so that comes in a nice set. You think I have a shop? <laughs> so this is the Fudibiori. And you can see that it is a nice big filamented tip, a, a, a spongy tip. One, two. Really rich color saturation. And that's a really super brush pen to have simply because of the size that it can work at. Now, there are two other types of brush pens that I'm going to show you, and that is the Wink of Stella and the Wink of Luna. So they look like this. And I did say to Kurtaki once, you can't walk around with these. They look like eyeliner. We had a little laugh about it. The Wink of Luna is a dense metallic color in a filamented tip. The tip is massive. The press and twist and turn, we can get some really nice, big metallic letters. If I can catch the light on that feet. There you go. So that's really metallic rather than just wet. And then of course you have the Wink of Stella. The Wink of Stella is essentially like a glitter, like a glitter eyeliner. It just sort of adds iridescent. So once you've done something like that, you can go in and add some iridescence to it. So that's not liquid i mean it is liquid but it's 
It's sort of an iridescent sheen. It's quite sparkly. Now you'll notice that the tip of the brush pen is now dirty. All you have to do is squeeze some color through it and it basically washes off the tip. Remember to twist and pull to get it back to its original shape. And because I've just put so much on there, you can really start to see those little fine mica particles. Now, Kotaki make they make tons of products, you know, from inks. I some inks up here. This absolutely wonderful thing, uh, which when it came out, they turned up, I was demonstrating for them at a show in uh, Phoenix at Creativation. And they came up to me whilst I was demonstrating and they said, oh, look, we just received the prototype for it. Um, it's called the Gold Mica Paste. And when I tried it, I asked them if they had little elves working in the studio because there was the only way to crush mica this fine micron size is by magic and so we tried to get other people to use it and it was an absolute nightmare and so we started calling it the Paul Antonio Gold because I could get it to write through a copper plate nib since then they've sort of changed the formula a little bit and it's it's really quite an amazing product but I'm, I'm not going to show it to you because this was just about some of the brush pens that they produce. So I hope I'm exhausted now. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this very, very, very long uh, video, which is reasonably in depth about the brushes that you can find, uh, which are manufactured by Kurotaki. And of course, uh, Zig is, um, is one of the brands under the Kurotaki name. And so you will see things like the Zig Clean Color Brush. That's a Kurotaki. So um, please leave a comment down uh, below um, ask some questions. If you have anything you would like to cover at Calligraphy Masters, please don't hesitate to let us know and we will see what we can do. Thank you very much and thank you, Milan. And remember, keep writing accurately. accurately.